So this is the iPad messenger bed made by Etsy seller, made by Grandad, also known as Roy Stevenson. And he's based in the UK. He sent us a review copy of this bag after we mentioned him on the iPad Creative blog. So let's take a look at it. We've got this very nice construction bag. I'll just turn it around to the back. You can see we've got a strong web uh, strap there made from the same stuff they make seat belts from. We've also got a bag pocket. It's very useful, very roomy actually. We use it for keys and wallet, but also for any other documents you might need to cook to hand. I'm wearing it on the body. Turn around, we've just opened that up. So you've got these turn catches, which are very secure. You've got your contrasting stripe pattern with a nice uh, label there, made by Grandad. A document pocket here in the, the front flap, which is very useful. And then the main compartment, and it's, uh, it's sealed by this strong zip. Very strong stitching all the way around too. All feels very secure. We've got the iPad pocket at the back with not very thick padding but some padding around the edge. There's more padding to be honest on the back of the bag where you probably want it. We've got a large compartment area with a, a key stay which can be on either side of the bag. You can customise it how you want. We've also got a large front pocket here too with a very chunky zip. And also a few pen holders We've got a grip and stylus in there, and also a few pens, and a place to put your mobile phone or other accessories. So it's a roomy bag, there's quite a lot of uh, space in it, so let's show you the kind of things you can get in there. First of all, of course, we've got our iPad, and that's uh, without any case, but there's plenty of room as you'll see, so we think you could easily get the iPad in with the case. We're going to put it in with the Logitech keyboard case. And we've still got obviously all of that space. So now we're going to put in what we would usually use on a sort of day trip. We've got our SLR camera, second lens, Video camera, the iPad charger, a few accessories for the camera, an iRig, camera connector kit so we can use Photosmith to look at our photos on the iPad, VGA connector just in case the USB cable for the camera, headphones with microphone, spare battery for the camera, lunch, and still there's plenty of room. So I'm just going to do the zip up, tuck that away. Now the good thing is, it doesn't look like a camera bag, and it doesn't look like you've got an iPad in there either. There's nothing obvious to indicate that it's carrying lots of gadgets. That's what we like about this. We were looking for a bag that was anonymous, didn't have uh, some sort of label across it to show that it was a camera or gadget bag, but also had plenty of room and plenty of options. So if you like this, um, you can check out the website www.madebygrandad. .co.uk and you can read more about this over at uh, iPad Creative that's www.ipadcreative.com